the international desk. Easy Rider and the open road no longer. Donald Trump lashes out at Harley Davidson over tariffs. And the latest on the desperate search for 12 teenagers trapped in a cave in Thailand. Plus Lionel Messi and Argentina face a win or go home moment at the World Cup. All that and much more right here at the international desk. Well, the Trump administration ended its practice of separating families at the border almost a week ago. But for thousands of families, not much has changed. More than 2,000 children remain separated from their parents in centers spread out throughout the country. Among them, a little girl who secretly recorded pleas became a symbol of the crisis. He is not alone. Dozens of parents spoke at an emotional news conference in El Paso, Texas. They no longer face charges but are struggling to get their children back. And they say the experience of, has left lasting emotional it. scars. Wow. Well, Al Diane Gallagher was there for those emotional moments. She joins me now from El Paso, Texas. Uh, Diane, just take us through that press conference uh, last night as you heard from the parents who have still not been reunited with their children. Yeah, and Linda, for the most part, they haven't even spoken to their children. Only three of the 32 parents, as of yesterday evening, who had been taken to this charity, uh, dropped off there. Only three of those 32 had personally spoken to their children since being separated. That means 91% of those parents have not had any personal contact with their kids since they separated them. Look, these parents were absolutely gutted, Linda. They, they, they talked about the... The separation itself about in the night being told that they had to be separated their children were sleeping they were trying to get their kids dressed they couldn't talk to them some of them when trying to get phone calls one woman named Miriam says when she did get in touch with her almost five-year-old son uh, his caretaker told her he didn't want to come to the phone because he was angry at her she's afraid that he blames her and thinks that she abandoned him not that he was taken away from her she's not sure how she's gonna get to New York from El Paso to get him Another father, it was his daughter's 10 year birthday yesterday. She was turning 10. He was under the impression when he was released and taken to this charity, the Annunciation House, that he was going to be greeted by his daughter because no real instructions were given. So he thought he was going to spend his daughter's 10th birthday with her together. And instead, he's not even sure where she is. Uh, he is hoping that he gets more information, Linda. They said that when they were released, they were simply given a piece of paper that had a 1-800 number on it, and very few of them had been able to get any answers from that 1-800 number. They say the government hasn't done enough to be proactive to work with them to help find their children and reunite them quickly with them. The government has told me over and over again, that's our top priority. We're working day in and day out, trying to make it happen within 24 hours. But uh, look, Linda, I'm not getting that same story from parents and people who are physically separated from their kids. Yeah, your heart just goes out to, to those parents and the children that haven't heard from oh, yeah. them at all. You toured one of the facilities in Texas that is housing uh, some of these detainees. Just explain what the conditions were like, especially around the tents, which are essentially in a desert. Oh, it definitely is. I mean, it's dusty, it's windy, it's uh, triple digit temperatures out here. Uh, in Fahrenheit, it was about 105 degrees yesterday. Uh, and these kids were outside playing uh, soccer. They, they, they do it in intervals and we did see them. We couldn't really talk to them because again, all the video you're seeing was supplied by the government. They will not let us take our cameras on there because they say uh, it's a privacy invasion. That means, of course, we are seeing what they want us to see. Yeah, absolutely. Diane Gallagher, good to have you on this story. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.